Hello and welcome to the probability and computing problem solving series. So today we will be solving Okay, so we have a fair coin and we are flipping it 10 times, right? And uh, now we need to find the probability of the event that the ith flip and the 11 minus ith flip to be same okay so ith flip and the 11 minus ith flip are same what is the probability of this event well, what is the value of i so i is taking values 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so it means that we have five values of i to be substituted right and there will be an and so if you write the event uh, what we will get is this so when i equal to 1 we have first flip and 11 minus i is here 10 right so first flip and 10th flip are same right and uh, so when i equal to 2 right what we have is second flip and uh, 11 minus i is 9 so 9th flip are same right so and when i equal to 3 we have third flip and 11 minus i is 8 third flip and eighth flip are same right and when uh, i equal to 4 we have fourth flip and uh, seventh flip same and when i equal to 5 we have fifth flip and uh, sixth flip to be same so this is the event right so we wrote this event this is the event basically right so this event we wrote it like this and there is and okay so we have and here because for all of these values of i right for all of these uh, five values of i we have to have ith flip and the 11 minus ith flip to be same okay so this is the event okay now now we need to find out the number of favorable outcomes or number of favorable outcome means here it is the cardinality of this event right what is the number of favorable outcomes meaning that what is the cardinality of this event so this is the event and we want to find the probability of this event right so let's uh, calculate the favorable cases how many uh, such favorable cases are there okay so let's think about this case like uh, the first flip and 10th uh, flip are same right so how many uh, such cases are there so there are two possibilities right either head head or tail tail right when we want the first flip and the tenth flip to be same the either it is heads or its tails right so either head should appear in the first and tenth flip or tail should appear in the first and tenth flip so there are only two possibilities not less not more there are exactly two possibilities for this to happen right so similarly we can see that for this case for the second flip and the ninth flip to be same there are two possibilities again for this for this for this all of them we have two possibilities each right either in both of these flips either head can come or tail can come so there are exactly two possibilities for each of the five cases of i right when i equal to one we have two cases when i equal to two we have two possibilities right for each of them we have two possibilities Right. So, what is the uh, number of favorable outcomes now? Now, we can use the extension of product rule and because there are 5 cases here, we have 2 multiplied 5 times which is nothing but 2 raised to 5. Right. So, this is the cardinality of the event that we are considering. Right. This is the number of favorable outcomes. Right. So, we can now divide the number of favorable outcomes which is 2 raised to 5 by the total number of possible outcomes which is 2 raised to 10. 
because two raised to ten is the number of possible outcomes, right? Because we have uh, if air coin flipped to ten times each time, there are two possibilities: head or tail can come, and so two raised to ten is the number of uh, possible outcomes, and so required probability of our uh, the event that we are interested in is this: two raised to five by two raised to ten, which is thirty-two by thousand and twenty-four. right and that is nothing but 1 by 32 right so finally our answer is 1 by 32 okay so i hope this is clear if you have any doubt or any comments or queries to us please comment in the comment section below so thank you and hope to see you in the next video